Well, I thought it was a typical LSU Alabama game. Just a really good game to the very end. Um, congrats to them. I know they'll do well tomorrow. It's uh, it's kind of exciting. I think what three of the last four and five of the last six are SEC schools, which is awesome for our conference. And I know it's going to be a great ending. I think for the SEC. All right, open up the questions. Tommy Deeks, Tuscaloosa News. You kind of got offensively the, the start you wanted, but you had a defensive mis miscue that really put you behind. How how disappointing was that? Is that jitters? What do you think happened there? I, I don't know. It shouldn't have been because, you know, we hadn't done that for a long time and just it was a little too much throwing the ball around that we hadn't, we hadn't done that, you know, since probably February. So I'm not sure what caused it or, you know, um, I know they have a lot of team speed, but um, just unfortunate it happened at the wrong time. Michael Castro on AL.com. I know uh, it seemed like a similar situation again tonight. A lot of get some base runners on and um, couldn't really finish it off most of the time. Yeah, you're right. And, you know, I always ask them to at least get the tying run at the plate at the very end. And we had the winning run. And so they showed a lot of fight, a lot of grit still. But we had a couple innings where, you know, we get the lead off on and then the offense stalled. And it's just like, you know, a football team that goes 60 yards and then all of a sudden goes over four and has to punt. And it's just unfortunate. Just, you know, one of the things that we worked on for the last two weeks was passing it down. And then the last inning, I thought, I really thought Jade was gonna hit a grand slam and uh, or Runyon hit a home run to, to go ahead, but you know, um, didn't happen. Uh, Michael Kenny, normal transcript. Ladies, is each of you after the week that this has been from Super Regionals and now? Can you just talk about how tough of an X this is for you, for you, especially? Uh, I'm sure you expected to go a little bit farther. Haley, I mean, it's obviously disappointing. Anytime you lose the last game, you always want to be the one to win it in the end. But um, I'm just so proud of this team. And Dang it. <laughs> you know, I think the hardest thing is that um, not only, especially the senior class, are they great ball players, they're great people, and they're the true definition of an Alabama softball player, and that's what we want. And it's going to be a hard class to follow up. And um, not everybody thought we were going to be here. And what it came down to is our one heartbeat as a team and our moody that we've talked about for so long and we all have each other's back one through 18 and it's just it was a fun team to be a part of good name um you know i don't think a lot of people really even expected us to make it past super regional so for us uh, i've played three games at the world series um i think it exceeded a lot of people's expectations and I think this is definitely um, a season that we can be very proud of. Are there any other questions? So, Marissa, when you come up to the plate at the end, do you have you know, did it bring back any kind of thoughts to the last week to the, to the grand slam? I know when base is loaded, but did you have any of those thoughts that you could could be a hero again? I mean, it's a tough situation to be in. Uh, you just want to pass the ball down the lineup. You don't necessarily think about being the hero. You just want to pass it down to the next person in the lineup. And, um, you know, unfortunately, I didn't do it. But our goal every last inning is to get the tying run at the plate. And we did do that. And so I'm very proud of every single person on the team because we did do that and we met our goal there and unfortunately you know it didn't fall our way